All right, wow, A1 just wrapped up. We've got Spencer back with us again. He was, was stayed in uh, position two there for quite some time, almost the whole time. Um, A1, Tebow, Spencer, Cavalieri, Mayfield, and Yorn. So what do you think? How'd that go? Um, it went pretty good. I mean, um, you know, Tebow was out there, and he stayed in front the whole time, and that's what he's got to do. Um, there was a couple, you know, mistakes out there from uh, me and Neil. Uh, me and Ryan got together and at the end, but um, it was just a racer. You know, we're racing out there. We all want to win. But, yeah, I mean, we got to all work together as a team, and um, we can't let Jared, you know, have a lead like that in A2. Yeah, I mean, other than that, I mean, it went pretty good, and, you know, most of our guys, you know, Mayfield was out there. He did pretty good. Um, yeah, it went pretty good, and I was happy where I finished, and I'm looking forward for A2. I mean, this is a really exciting race. I mean, I'm looking out there, and I'm like, I see all this green um, of AstroTurf, but then I look up and I go, it's Tebow, it's Spencer, it's Cavallari, and it's Mayfield. you got the four American guys out there on AstroTurf duking it out. So it shows that you guys are, are getting it done. Uh, it's the big three. We always call those guys the big three, and then you're, and then, and then you. So maybe it's a big four. And then you. <laughs> <laughs> so maybe we uh, have to include you in that pretty soon. But um, you know, talk to us about what it's like to battle. I mean, you're uh, you're really fast in the in the rumble strips. You really kind of caught Tebow there one time, and uh, the crowd's like, ooh, yeah. you know, they make noise. Uh, what does it feel like when you're driving it and that's happening? I mean, it feels great. It's an amazing feeling, you know, you know, behind Tebow and the crowd's like going crazy for you. And I mean, everyone here is coming up to me and, you know, supporting me and making me feel as comfortable as possible. And I know I can do it. But, um, you know, running with those guys, you know, you have to, you know, keep your line in it. You can't, you know, you want to race them clean. Um, it's intense. And you have to be very uh, disciplined of your lines because, you know, you can make one little bobble and someone's going to get around you pretty easy. So... Were there any spots on the track that you felt were more difficult for you? Um, not really. I mean, I crashed going onto the straightaway, but when um, I was catching Tebow, I got a little, you know, excited. Like, I was, like, when the crowd went crazy. I'm not really used to that feeling because, you know, I'm still, you know, getting it, I guess. But, um, yeah. Well, you know, another thing I, you know, I was kind of noticed out there that it seemed like the referees were letting everything go a little more than they normally do at these races. I mean, it was a few years ago where the cars would get side by side and Dallas would call a stop and go. Uh, there were some incidents with uh, Mayfield and Yorn early where the cars touched. They let it go. You know, they let it go um, when you and Neil got close, but I think Neil was like traction rolling, um, and they, you know, they let it go when you and um, Cavallari. Uh, Cavallari got close and. But it, this is so hard. I mean, it's obvious that, I mean, you guys are really pushing the limit. I mean, you guys are doing 17-second laps, low 17s, maybe even a 16 if you're pushed. And, I mean, it's happening fast, and this is a big track. So um, it's really kind of nice that they're giving you guys a little bit more um, opportunity, I guess, um, to actually make the race interesting instead of it just follow the leader. It seems like you guys are getting to race a little bit. Yeah, I mean, um I don't, I mean, there's a point where you can't let it go too far because then it just comes into you know, a takeout fest. Um, but, yeah, I mean, you know, Dallas, um, you know, was watching the race and, you know, he just, you know, thought, you know, side to side racing might be a little more on this type of, type of, like, type of surface because it's so uh, difficult to drive on. Um, like I said, from like me and Cavalry, I mean, I mean, the Neil incident, Neil went wide, he apologized on the stand, so it was a cool thing. Um, me and Ryan, I mean, we're all up there to when we want to win. Um, yeah, I mean, I don't really know what to say. I'm not going to go into detail of what really happened, but um, Jason's going to have a video later on that you can watch it yourself. So, I mean, you can go, um, you can go watch it yourself, I guess. <laughs> well, uh, one more thing. I, I don't know if there's anyone uh, that's watched more RC videos on YouTube uh, than you. Um, what's it like to actually be in one of the races instead of watching it uh, on YouTube? It's a definitely a good experience, um, especially, I mean, when I was, uh, you know, a couple years ago, I watched every video there is. Um, you know, Kim always showed me videos, he tells me stories. Uh, but it's my dream, it's a dream to be at these events, and it's a dream come true, and I'm really um, happy for uh, what I accomplished, and I'm looking forward for the future. All right, man, well, uh, don't hold up on those guys out there. Uh, give it hell, and uh, hold your own, man. Let's bring back a podium. All right. All right, good job. All right, now we've got the video for you.